DVR Logo, Colorado Department of Labor and Employment, Daily Living Skills and Adaptive Communications. Instructor Judy with medium length brown hair in a purple sweater. Vision rehabilitation therapists assist individuals with visual impairments to gain functional skills to manage their home, live independently, and participate in work and school. Individuals learn adaptive strategies to safely and efficiently perform personal care, food preparation, organization, home management, cleaning, and laundry. They also learn alternative methods for written communication, including strategies for reading and writing using large print, braille, and audio as needed. DVR logo, Denver Metro office. PAT student, gray-haired Jim, sits for an interview. So during my daily living skills training here at uh, the PAT program, were cooking skills. I learned a great deal about how to um, cut up food and things like that. I'd been quite nervous about uh, using knives unless I really had to, and now I'm just much more comfortable with that. Jim locates the Daily Living Skills training kitchen using his white cane. Jim measures out sugar into a mixing bowl over a blue tray. Jim overscoops sugar with a measuring cup and uses a butter knife to level it out. Camera pans over the Daily Living Skills training kitchen's cabinets showing large print and braille labels. In my adaptive communications training in the PAT program, I learned how to use my uh, smartphone um, and do all kinds of things, uh, you know, using voiceover and being able to move around the phone without being able to see it. Dark-haired Joe, who is using a GPS app on his phone. Tips, blind square, blind square, search. Button placed my local in shared cards and enter college and food. Sir, select and then just being able to, you know, access different apps, you know, downloading things on your phone, all these things that are just common um, tasks, uh, everyday tasks. Um, I learned a great deal there. I also learned Braille, uh, and that w has been something that. It's kind of fun to use, but I don't use it all the time. You know, I'll use it just in elevators and things just to see where I'm at or um, some signs, uh, restroom signs I'll do, use it for. Dark-haired Joe sits in a chair wearing a blue Denver Broncos t-shirt. And uh, some of those accommodations I actually was able to uh, make on my own. Like, for example, uh, writing out some braille notes for myself when I do the store announcements at work. Joe reads braille. Close up of Joe's hand, his fingers trailing over the braille dots. So learning how to use my smartphone as a visually impaired person uh, in the PAT program has been incredibly helpful just in my daily living, um, as well as in my work. Jim uses his white cane to locate the door to the low vision training room. A close-up shot of Jim's hands touch typing. One thing that I learned in this program that was incredibly helpful for my teaching was using my cell phone to give me, like it's like reading notes, like I could just listen to the notes and then it just helped me so much in my lectures um, because before I would just have to memorize everything. And, just, and then just being able to use different apps um, in terms of getting around um, for the public uh, transportation, um, just being able to look things up and how to just prepare some dishes. I learned how to use my crock pot, which I'd never used before and that's kind of fun. And then also cleaning skills, um, just simple things that just really help make your life easier. Um, another thing that made a huge difference was putting bump dots on things. I had never done that before, I didn't know about that. And so that I could, I don't, you know, it's like, oh, this is the button to push on my microwave to start the microwave. <laughs> and um, that sort of thing was incredibly helpful because when you can't see that sort of stuff, it makes you nervous, you know, like what, I'm pushing the wrong button. 
am able to uh, use my iPhone to identify different products, like and specifically uh, food items. The reason uh, receiving daily living skills tra training was important to me is because I, I really wanted more skills in that specific area of uh, adaptive cooking. I didn't have a lot of confidence in cooking before I had uh, used, I had mostly used the microwave to make TV dinners. And now that I've received that training, I have that confidence that I can cook a meal for myself. <laughs> daily Living Skills Signage with Braille. Camera pans over the Daily Living Skills Training Kitchen's cabinets, showing large print and Braille labels. Um, I also have a Braille labeler I'm able to use to use a, to uh, label different products, whether that, whether that would be uh, food items um, or any other product. I do feel like the labeling and the bump dots have uh, um, helped me be much more independent. Those sorts of things just make life so much easier. Um, and the training I got in daily living skills really helped with that. DVR Award Excellence with a Braille Overlay. For more information, please visit dvr.colorado.gov or call 303-318-8571.